Hey, it's Yoey from Crankwheel with a walkthrough video of both ends of the Instant Demos experience just to illustrate how that works for you. Now, let's say you have a customer on your website. I'll use the crankwheel.com website uh, for illustration purposes. And let's say they find a, a, a request a demo button or a get a demo button on your website. They would start by clicking there. And this opens up uh, a light box, which is uh, powered by Crankwheel, uh, where they are uh, offered an instant live demo. And the messaging here will depend on how many uh, of your agents are available at the moment. Uh, so for example, if it's the middle of the night and nobody's available, nobody's active at their computer, uh, it, it won't promise a live demo within a few minutes. It'll just uh, offer you to request a live demo. And what happens here is, and I'll show both ends on one screen, so just pretend that the left hand of the screen in this browser window is what the customer or prospect is seeing, and then everything that appears on the right hand in a little bit is what the uh, salesperson or, or service agent would see. So I'll just put in 12345 as a dummy phone number. So the customer would enter their phone number here, click Get a Demo, and as soon as they click get a demo, every salesperson configured in your organization will get an instant notification on their screen where they can view the request <clears throat> and decide whether to handle it. And before they decide whether to handle it, they, they might uh, want to see what the customer types in as lead capture information. So let's say they give, give their full name here and then uh, maybe they type in their email address. I'll just use mine. Um, based on the email address, we'll do lookup online to find automatically enriched information on the lead. So this is pretty accurate for me and for a lot of email addresses, especially business email, it will be pretty accurate. So they might, they might uh, enter some more information here, but at this point, uh, the agent might decide, okay, I'm going to be the one to handle this request. And you'll notice before they handle the request, they don't see the full phone number. So if they're the first person to, to say they'll handle the request, now they see the full phone number, so they can make a phone call, and you'll see that the interface over here also changed. It now says, hey, Yo is about to call you. Please keep the window open. And the agent or salesperson has 60 seconds to confirm that there's been a phone call initiated or to say that there was no answer. Now let's pretend that the phone call does get initiated uh, that's how the UI on the presenter side changes. Uh, you can still view all of the information on the prospect. Um, on the prospect side, it changes to say, call underway, and please keep this window open. And now at this point, the, the, the phone call has started, and the salesperson can now ask the prospect, if needed, to fill in some further information. So if they, if they would like them to fill in, let's say, company, they, co they can still do that. Okay. And then as soon as the salesperson wants to start a visual, let's say a software demo or a presentation, anything visual in the phone call, they can just say, hey, I'm just going to sh show you something. If you look in the browser window where you requested the demo, it'll open up right there. And you see how that opens up on the prospect side. It just opens up automatically as soon as the salesperson starts sharing. Um, so that's the basic those are the basics of uh, the instant demos flow now <clears throat> if none of your salespeople uh, responds immediately to the uh, notification on screen uh, they will all still get us an email with the prospect information where they can respond um, and uh, the salesperson to handle the prospect also gets a separate email with all the prospect details and that's it for the brief walkthrough of both ends of the instant demos experience. Thank you.